I can confidently say that my appointment is a historic and is inspirational moment for Canada and an important step forward on the long path towards reconciliation. Canada has a new Governor General. A former diplomat and Inuit leader, Mary Simon, will be Canada's new representative for the Crown in our country. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, by all accounts, she seems like an inspired choice. And I can certainly say, I think on behalf of most Canadians, we appreciate the fact that you did take some time to actually vet the new Governor General of Canada. But of course, the appointment of Mary Simon adds to the growing speculation that there will be an election coming. Of course, the writ has to be issued by the Governor General. Now we have a new one. So Prime Minister Trudeau, why not just end the speculation? Of course, for auto observers, it's the biggest pastime. When will the election be? When will the writ drop? All of the speculation, of course, Mr. Trudeau, is that the writ will drop in August and then we will have a September election date. So why not just end it all and ask the new governor general as one of her first orders of business for a writ? It's important that we actually go to the polls, not because of anything political, but Prime Minister Trudeau, your government has a plan to further reshape our country, the way we think, the way we act, what we say, what's on the internet, what gets vetted, our freedom of speech. You and your government want to completely reshape all of that. And not only that, coming out of the pandemic, we are going to be looking at spending hundreds and billions of dollars for your government's plan. We just recently had a budget. You should be going to Canadians for a mandate. You should be getting that stamp of approval from Canadians before all of this moves forward. Now, of course, we still are in the pandemic, though we are inching out of it, and that's good news. And you, Prime Minister Trudeau, probably are reading the polls like we are, and your government is in not bad shape. You're in a position to have yet again another minority government. But who knows what that might look like in a week, or in two weeks, or in two months from now. So maybe you're thinking it's time to strike when the iron is hot. So will the newly appointed Governor General, Mary Simon, have her first order of business is to issue you a writ, Prime Minister Trudeau? Tragic news struck the city of Toronto when Constable Jeffrey Northrup lost his life. He was responding to a 911 call and he was intentionally murdered. First degree murder is the charge. Yet you, Prime Minister Trudeau, didn't say a word for days. It took you at least two days before you acknowledged and sent sympathy and acknowledged the fact that Jeffrey Northrup died, a police officer in this country. Yet you have no problem or no hesitation whatsoever to issue a tweet or a statement or condemnation of any kind. But when it comes to a police officer, you took your sweet time. Now we have no doubt that you probably calculated it, you vetted it with your staff and you decided whether or not you should say something because we know that you have done very little to support law enforcement in this country, to stand behind them when they have been targeted. So why did it take two days for you to finally issue a statement? Prime Minister Trudeau, just for the family's sake, for the sake of our city, for the sake of our country, for the sake of the men and women that put themselves in harm's way every day. You, as the leader of this country, had a right and a duty to say something sooner than you did. Our country continues to grieve and mourn and reel from the too many unmarked graves that are being found across this country. There is anger, there is frustration. But Prime Minister Trudeau, your reaction to the burning of churches, be it Anglican, Catholic, whatever denomination, churches across this country are being burned. Some vandalized, but some are actually being burned to the ground. You equivocated your condemnation of this by saying it's understandable, but it's not understandable. Yes, the country needs answers. Those families of those found in the unmarked graves, they need answers. Reconciliation needs to move forward. But equivocating the act of burning churches, that's not acceptable. Prime Minister Trudeau, you could have taken a lesson from Chief Clarence Louis or even Chief Perry Bellegarde. Clarence Louis very clearly said it's an act of vandalism. It's arson and unacceptable. 
Chief Bellegarde said that burning things down is not their way. Yet, Prime Minister Trudeau, you didn't absolutely, unequivocally call it for what it is. These are the realities of what's going on in our country right now, and churches are being targeted. That's not acceptable regardless of the circumstances. Canada can move forward. Canada can get answers for these families of these unmarked graves. But burning churches down is not the response. And again, Prime Minister Trudeau, as the leader of this country, you can set a tone. You can send a message, yet you choose not to. We always have questions for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and as election speculation ramps up, we want to hear from you. Hit some comments below. Maybe your question will be featured in, in another video. In the meantime, log on to Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.